Hello everybody, Mailman here from Go Production. We're gonna jump to hog number two from last night on that thermal. We're on a Thor 4 on my 6.5 Grindle. All my X sights, my night vision, I took the IRs off of them. I'm gonna bring you that deer footage during the daylight. So my 4K Pro, my LTV, no IR on them, totally deer. Once deer's over, I'll start to bring that night vision back out on them hogs and them coyotes. So after we get the first hog, I go to another field. It's windy and the hogs like to get out in these fields at night so they can see rather than hear um, a lot of noise with the wind so I can drive around and check these fields drive by this field there's two hogs out in the field I go up to the gate and I park by the time I get ready and come back the hogs have moved off which is fine I kind of know where they're going to an oak stand a white oak stand I just go out there to where I think they're going and this field is fenced but on one side of it's all old cedar trees and these hogs love to get up underneath these cedars in the wind and they like to feed and they like to bed up in there so i'm going up to this area and i push some cattle up and i get them moving i always I always will, will go slow and i don't want to push those cattle too much because once they start to run the animals start to look around so this hog you're going to see knows something up by its body language because i come up there and i push these this group of cows through this gate and there's one gate up there so when them cows start to move i have to naturally push these cows up to that area where they go through the gate well as we get up there there's a group of cedars a, a circle of cedars right there a couple oaks in there where they like to feed and you're going to tell by just his body language behind these trees he knows something is up but what i do is i just wait i'm always constantly looking i'm on my tripod all my thermal but i'm looking with my scanner i'm i'm watching those cows those cows go out to my left which is great that hog comes over to the right, makes a mistake, gets in that opening, and I drop this long-haired boar right there in those trees. Two last night, I should have had some more at my feeders. They hit it later, I didn't know, but I'm going to go back and get those groups. They're really moving to the fields now. Thermal for just one more month on the hogs and the coyotes. Then we're going to move into that night vision. Thanks for watching. A lot more coming. Football is over, and we're about to hit it really hard. Thank <laughs> you. 